Well, I'm Mike. My post is Mo Dean. And Sham, my friend here, has invited me over and talk about some straight razors. In this particular episode, we're going to concentrate on stropping techniques. Uh, we have several different types of strops available. Actually, Sham has uh, graciously donated a. This looks like a. Lynn, yeah. Lynn. Lynn, Lynn has donated some, some of his strops. This is uh, from a straight razor, straight razor designs SRD. This particular strop, I don't know which model of of his this is. This was the top one, I think. I'm not sure, but it was a three inch wide one. It's very nice stuff. But as you can see, this is a three inch wide strop, which makes it a little easier to strop the straight razor on. You don't have to do as X pattern as much as you would on a smaller, thinner, skinnier strop. This one has the uh, uh, nylon backing. Instead of linen material, it has a nylon uh, polyester material and then the uh, tanned leather on one side. And if you want to show proper way of stropping a straight razor, I'll hold one end. Okay. I just want to tell this couple of words about stopping. When you New person and start to using straight razors. Uh, people have problems how to stop correctly. The easiest way, and it has been done forever, the grab the blade correctly. If you grab the blade properly, you will stop right. Okay. This is the how I stop. And when you grab the blade, you put your thumb on the where is the label where it says name who made it. And then you put, I will stand up and I will just make slow the strokes. You make strokes and then at the end of it, you, you flip. And then come back again, again. Okay, this is very easy strap and you have enough control of the blade, how much you can put the pressure. If you're gonna speed up, you can speed up and, but you don't need any speed when you strap, okay? You just, The idea is you can have control on the blade. Okay, that's all I want to tell about the how stopping, but this little stopping might be show on the two padded strap and cushion straps. Here we have a different type of a strop. This is an old vintage strop with the uh, X cut in the back. This is a very high end strop. This has to be one of Kelly's. It's special diamond, strops that Sham, cat, yeah. Sham has acquired somehow. This is your <laughs> fire hose material, similar to like the Hess hair milk strop. Very, very uh, slick, no draw on that strop. These strops are exceedingly difficult to find with that cross edge diamond cut pattern in there, which makes this strop very flexible. Very nice strop. This is an experimental strop that Kelly or none too sharp is developed. Again, part of the KC crew is we're trying to come up with alternative solutions to uh, the strops out there to offer some inexpensive ways to uh, for the beginner to be able to get into this activity and be relatively successful in a shorter period of time. The stropping techniques that uh, Sham has shown you does take practice and as you, as you get better and better you'll go faster and faster. Um, this particular uh, strop that Kelly has designed is made from hemp material. Uh, it's uh, as opposed to a linen or a cotton material. This is used primarily prior to uh, taking the blade onto leather. This helps clean and prep, prepare the blade for the next stropping, which is done on leather, which will actually refine the edge even more and polish it some more. The, the reason we have chosen hemp as a fiber as opposed to linen or even, even the uh, polyester nylon materials, uh, the hemp has a very high loft to it. Now I'm using the word loft to describe it because there really is no way to describe how the uh, fibers are raised up. This is a very, very nice effective way to actually clean the blade and if you want to show Sham, how that's used. I'll hold this end. All of these strops, as you'll see, have have uh, carabiners or eye bolts on there, so you can fasten them securely in your house to a countertop or something like that. 
this material, the one more thing what I like on this material, it's, it warms up the edge very fast. I mean, after f four or five strokes, your edge is going to warm up enough that you can move the next level. Okay, and I like it, that's the only reason, because in regular leanings, you have to make 15, 30, or 50 strokes, but in here, 10, 15 strokes, your edge is going to be warm enough, and then you can move the next level. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mike. No. That's a very effective material. Uh, the other type of straps that are available, obviously, uh, paddle strop, which this is a very small, vintage, over a hundred year old paddle strop I recently acquired from Neil, Neil Miller on SRP. I have treated this with cerium oxide, and I've even I've done some pictures of that. I'll, I may post on SRP later on. But this type of strop. Obviously, uh, would make a good travel strop, or if you perhaps wanted to refresh an edge with the cerium oxide, or chromium oxide, or tin, or, or graphite, or any of the, the uh, fine uh, aggregate powders that you want to incorporate on here. I've chosen cerium oxide, which is extremely fine. I believe it's 0.25 microns yes, as opposed yes. to 0.5 microns on the chromium oxide. Uh, it, it, it will actually polish, but it has very little effect on the blade. But for this particular type of strop, an X pattern is definitely going to be required to where you have complete coverage of the blade on the strop material. This will actually cut and hone steel over a period of time. And typically when I'm working with a pasted strop, I don't like to do more than 24 passes on this because this will actually alter the edge of your blade a little. This has a finished uh, um, cordovan leather on the backside, which will help to buff the blade even further. This is a unique little strop just to show how even small strops like this can be very effective in maintaining the edge or refreshing the edge of your razor. Okay, now about this one, a couple of words about that. Couple words Please. about the KC cushion strop that we have developed. Again, the KC crew working in conjunction with Sham, Modine, and None Too Sharp have developed a, a very user friendly type of strop. This uh, particular one, we have sent some samples out for some evaluation for the guys. This particular strop has an interior core of uh, closed cell foam. This foam material is typically going to be found in like Tempur-Pedic beds, so it has memory to it. The reason we chose this type of material to use, now if you pull that out of there, it's a little difficult to get it back in. Um, it can, it, you can't do that to clean the, clean the exterior shell of the material. The reason we chose the closed cell foam was to offer enough resilience so when the blade the spine of the blade is passed over the strop, it doesn't roll, it actually springs away from the edge of the blade, especially for beginners, again, to help prevent them from rolling the edge of the blade and rounding off the sharp cutting surface of the razor. Again, the razor's edge is a very delicate part of the razor, so you have to prevent yourself, especially a beginner or a new person, from what's called rolling the edge on a typical leather or canvas or a, a linen type of straw. This, this is where this idea came into play, using basically a high abrasion resistance nylon. Several passes can be made relatively quickly on this type of straw. And again, very little pressure is required. Basically, you're just passing the edge of the razor across here to clean it and to actually help prepare it to take it on to the, the next level, which you might use leather, or you could just use it directly off of that, either way. Also, as a, uh, like a paddle, you can treat one or both of the edges with different types of, of paste, uh, chromium oxide, cerium oxide, on this particular strop, I've just used uh, recycled uh, slurry from my honing stones. Uh, one thing uh, the honemeisters hate to do is to waste their slurry. 
Um, they're very conscientious when they're honing how much slurry is being used. And this way you get to at least reclaim some of your slurry. Now obviously this being a smaller surface area, I'm going to have to make the X patterns on here. But this will actually, with this slurry on here, help to reflect this blade over a period of time and keep it more in a shave-ready state for the beginners out there that are, that are struggling with their razors. Um, this is very fast to use and again by keeping it against it was our idea to keep it up against the body to help protect the uh, user and keep all of their uh, uh, fingers and everything out of the way and, and make it relatively quick to use. Very wear, wear resistant material and uh, again it can be hand washed uh, don't want to put it in a washing machine or anything like that. You don't want to get any of the pastes on any other other clothing or in your wash or anything. But you can take this all apart and hand wash it. With a little practice, it'll help keep your razor shave ready for longer periods of time in between honings. That's about it. Right, okay. All right. Now we're gonna go start to make one Western blade shave ready. Okay. What, one western blade, yeah, okay. Yeah, just, just take okay. this one. This is eBay razor, it's dull and hasn't been sharpened as it ships, and yeah, actually, uh, okay. it will take time for that to okay. sharpen, but okay. we will do that, okay? Very good.